there's a possibility you have a smelly coochie. Say my name, say my name. You acting kind of shady. Lately, why the sudden change? Hi, my babies. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Brittany, aka Brit Smiley. And today, I'm going to show y'all how not to have a smelly coochie. Because I know it's summer, it's hot, we big girls smells can arise in certain places that don't need to arise so basically i'm gonna be doing this video giving you guys my tips and tricks on how i keep my hygiene together and how i keep my body smelling really good my skin looking really soft and all that good stuff in between there's a possibility you have a smelly coochie and that's okay i'm not judging i'm really not judging it's okay you know, we all have our moments where things just not in order the way they should be. We all been there. Don't lie and act like you haven't. We've all caught a whiff and been like, that was nasty, but we gonna fix it. So before we can get started with the video, I hope you guys will take the time to subscribe to the channel if you're not already part of the family. I hope you would also take the time to like this video up for me to let me know that you guys like these type of videos where I give you guys tips and tricks. So I'm trying to give you time to like this video and comment on this video so nobody say, you didn't give us time to like or subscribe. This is your time and I'm gonna drink some tea while I do it. Did you subscribe? Well, thank you. This video is brought to us by Teamy Blends. They reached out to me and basically said, hey, we like your content. Would you want to talk about us in one of your videos? I chose the Teamy 30 Day Detox and it says it's not just tea, it's a lifestyle. My box is all messed up because you know, I already opened it and whatnot. This also goes into female hygiene. That's why I put it with this video. So it's the 30 day detox from Teamy Blends. You get the Teamy Skinny and the Teamy Colon. Basically it's 30 days worth of detox. Like I really don't like tea besides sweet tea. So I add sugar. The colon cleanse is gonna clear you right on out. The Team Skinny, it energizes me. I'm not here to promote weight loss and whatnot. You guys know I'm on a personal weight loss journey, but this isn't what this, this is for. If you do lose weight while you're on it, cool, but its main purpose is to give you that extra boost of energy that you need to help your skin feel tighter to just help you feel better within yourself it's clearing all that gunk and ugly stuff out of your system so that you can feel better as a person because when you feel better oftentimes your vagina reacts to like you know she reacts to things like that when she reacts to what's getting put in her she reacts to what's getting put in your body you got to make sure that she's feeling your body's feeling fresh and clean so that she can feel fresh and clean, you know? So I'm really into this detox right now. And we're gonna talk about more, more about this in another video. But I just wanted to bring it up to you guys so you guys could know that I am partnering with Teamy. I do have the promo code for you guys, which is BritSmiley25 to get 25% off any of your purchases with Teamy Blends. I will also have an affiliate link down at the bottom. So if you click on the link, yes, I do get, you know, some commission when you check out. But we're trying to break this broke hole habit. So if you really mess with me, you would click the link and buy something. <laughs> if you want to though. Okay, so I had to recommend that you guys take your vitamins all because vitamins do keep your body healthy. Probiotics work and cranberry pills work for people. I suck at taking pills, so I'm not gonna recommend that. Well, I'm not. I'm not gonna say I do it, but I do know they work for other people. I do drink a lot of cranberry juice though because cranberry juice is good for the body and it's good for down there as well i just had to give you guys the medical aspect of that probiotics definitely do help with your feminine hygiene and your feminine body health overall so if you are at the age where you can go buy um probiotics or you can talk to your parents about getting probiotics i would definitely recommend them to anyone who takes pills if you're if you don't take pills and you're like me um water bitch okay motherfucking water okay that essential wait essentia <laughs> i'm always drinking water i love drinking water i'm not drinking my tea i'm drinking water so whenever you're going to the bathroom um one thing it's one thing to use napkins or paper towels not paper towels it's one thing to use toilet paper but it's another thing to use baby wipes and stuff like that i have heard a lot of people using baby wipes i've heard a lot of people using flushable wipes i use flushable wipes i get this value pack from walmart it comes with 240 
it's just a bunch of wipes basically like baby wipes and you could flush them in the toilet just like toilet paper i like to use these whenever i go to the bathroom because it just keeps me feeling clean and when you feel clean she usually smells clean but in my bag when i'm out and about i'm not gonna carry this big old thing of flushable wipes i like to use this smaller pack of wipes that i get from um walmart as well it's from the honey pot company these sensitive wipes for your intimate parts your body and your face it has zero parabens zero dioxides and it is plant-based feminine care the owner says and she's black if that's one thing the owner is black and it says made by humans with vaginas for humans with vaginas because it takes one to no one so this is very natural it is made from chamomile aloe and lemon peels and it says it even on the packaging that it's from naturally derived ingredients so i like to use this whenever i'm out in the back i throw this little pack in my bag or my backpack and whenever i use the bathroom i tend to wipe from front to back just to keep myself clean and feeling fresh i'm not trying to smell like a flower pot i'm not trying to smell like my body wash i like smelling good but i know down there she's not trying to smell like fruity she's trying to smell normal she just wants to feel clean so i try to keep that area clean make sure that it's clean i'm gonna emphasize clean because it's one thing to buy these ph washes these feminine hygiene washes you don't need them you don't need them at all you don't need anything with perfume in it you don't need any of these products that people are trying to sell to you this isn't like your hair where you need a whole bunch of products your vagina just needs some warm water and some tender loving care okay the outside can get a little funky and that's where you get these wipes and you just wipe the outside of the vagina and you keep that area clean um, but you're not gonna ever see me on this channel recommending you to go buy Summer's Eve, buy all these Summer's Eve products because that's not, I don't even use them. I use water. My mom raised me using water. I use water. Wipe her dry because you don't want to leave any excess water just lying around there because moisture can lead to smells, which can lead to other stuff that we're trying to prevent, okay? So I just wanted to let you guys know that these are the feminine hygiene wipes that I use. I like those because it talks nothing about trying to keep you pH balanced because your body does not naturally. I don't like things that say we are pH balanced, but I don't care for things that say pH balanced because those are scams. Like my body can naturally do that on its own. And if it doesn't, then I need to go seek help from a gynecologist or a medical professional, not from the hygiene aisle in Walmart. Don't try to run away from it or hide from it or Google things because they will scare you. Go get help. If you feel like you need help, go get help. So aside from just keeping that area clean, I like to keep my whole body clean as a whole because it's summer, it's hot, we big, we sweat. We sweat. We sweat, we sweat, we sweat, we sweat, we sweat, we sweat. So I have an array of things that I use in my shower, okay? The, this is my favorite part because people be asking me, why your skin look so soft? Why your skin be so glowy? I'm about to show you. And I have a um, a shower routine video coming for you guys. It's coming. I just have to film it. I have to figure out how I'm going to film it. This is easier to film because I'm just sitting and talking to you guys. But I have to figure out how I'm going to film that. So I'm going to first go in with the tools I use. To keep my soft skin, I use exfoliating gloves. I got these gloves from Walmart. They were like three bucks, I think, for both of them. Like together, it came in a pack. Um, you can get them on Amazon. I will try to have a link down below. I'll try to have links for all these products down below so you guys can actually get them. But these are just exfoliating gloves. There's no name brand. I don't care about the brand. I just care that it exfoliates my skin and it keeps my skin smooth. And this allows me to get in crevices that I might not be able to get in with um, like a loofah because they're too big or whatever or I can't get my hand around it this is literally your hand wiping your body come on okay next I have my palm hard brush this is a dry brush I got this from Walmart as well it's by eco tools I tend to use um, both I have two hard brushes both are from eco tools this one I like to use because it's the size of my palm and I just go in circles on my body it is recommended to use on dry skin, like um, when you're dry, but I use it in the shower. I'm gonna be honest, and I feel like it does something when I'm in the shower. If you like, if you get heat bumps, um, or the I think they're called rosacea bumps or whatever, because I know I get them on the backs of my thighs and behind my arms. This is what helped exfoliating is what's helped me get rid of that, um, and helped me to feel smoother, have my skin feel smoother. This was definitely something that I recommend. If you can't get the exfoliating gloves, these are also at Walmart. 
I like to use this in between my thighs and on my back because I'm not that flexible so I can't get behind my back the way I'd want to to make sure that my back is getting clean and if you have dark inner thighs like I do this helps me go like in my thighs up and down in my thighs making sure I'm getting clean I feel clean when I use my tools okay but the tools need the right products in order to work so I use the Dove pampering body wash this one happens to be in shea butter and vanilla this is the um nourishing body wash from them it has it says it's 100 percent recycled it's cruelty free and microbiome gentle it is from naturally derived cleansers skin natural nutrients and plant-based moisturizers it has zero parabens and zero sulfates i like using dove products just in general um i have another dove product that you guys will see mentioned i just enjoy their products they help my skin feel smooth and soft so that is my regular everyday body wash i also recommend getting something with a pump because the pumps make it easier to use when you're in the shower on my exfoliation days because you're not supposed to exfoliate every day because that just you're like taking too much skin off um and it can actually be harmful to your skin i like to exfoliate every okay so like i was saying before i was so rudely interrupted by my own camera i exfoliate like every two to three days and i use these products this is a gentle exfoliant from bath and body works it smells so good when i oh it smells so good it smells so good oh. and right now bath and body works does have that semi-annual sale going on so i definitely check it out if you can but this is the raspberry tangerine exfoliating body scrub it conditions and rejuvenates gently exfoliates the skin and leaves the skin feeling soft and smooth this is definitely a gentle exfoliate it doesn't have that like texture that you might be looking for an exfoliant sometimes it can kind of feel like it's not but it definitely does exfoliate and when you pair it and when you pair it with like the gloves or the hard brushes you are definitely removing dead skin this is my holy grail item this is the tree hub bohemian escape shea butter sugar scrub this is what it looks like this smells like a tropical island this also has turmeric in it which is good for evening out skin and exfoliating i get that at walmart but ulta also has it and sometimes they have a sale where it's a buy one get one half or buy one get one free i believe so definitely check out your local ulta and see if they have that sale going on because ugh, when i tell you tree hut tree hut if you just want to send you girls some products See, you girls will put me on a PR list. Like, I love Tree Hut exfoliants. That keeps my skin so soft. Like, so, 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 so soft. And then, while we're talking about exfoliants, it's not just about your body. Sometimes your lips need some exfoliant. Now, this is the Eco Lips Sugar Scrub. It looks like a chapstick, just a fat chapstick. This is the brown sugar version. I get this from Walmart. Most of my stuff is from Walmart. I'm a broke college student. I'm not trying to spend xyz amounts of money i'm trying to go as cheap as possible while still taking care of my skin i like to use this whenever i brush my teeth i just go in with it and i'll lick it off eat it off wipe it off whatever you, it's edible it leaves my lips feeling super smooth and super soft after you get out the shower and after you drink your water because we gonna emphasize this a water thing i'm not gonna let y'all get away with not drinking water we gotta be drinking water okay Water is good for you. It's good for your skin. It keeps you hydrated. It makes you glow. I ain't got no makeup on and the skin is glowing. You wanna know why? Water, mind of my business, okay? In the shower, it's also not always about just your body. It's about your feet too. Sometimes we can't get to pedicure spot. We need to do it on our own. So this brush I also got at Walmart. It comes with a pumice side, which is also to relieve dead skin. A brush, the dead skin scraper, and then the... Don't know what this set is, but I use it all. I like to walk barefoot too. When you walk barefoot, especially in the heat, it can start to, you can get sunburn on your feet and then your feet will peel. So I like to use this to keep my feet soft and smooth whenever I don't have a chance to get to the pedicure spot. I naturally go get my toes on like every three weeks. So that's kind of my thing for myself. But if I don't have a chance to, or if I'm just feeling like my, my feet are a little bit <laughs> I will definitely use this while I'm in the shower. Another trick to smooth skin is definitely being hairless, but you don't have to be hairless to have smooth skin because I can be a hairy muck and I still got smooth skin. But I like to use the Nair Hair Moving Cream. This is the Glide Away formula. Basically, it looks like a deodorant. It looks like that on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that all that well. But basically, it looks just like the normal Nair. It's just in this container. And this it has with 100% Moroccan argan oil and orange blossom. So I like to use this one just because it helps me, it has an easier, cleaner application. 
I don't know if you guys use Nair, but if you do, you know that after you rub it on, you're like kind of looking around like, dang, uh, kind of need to wipe my hands because my hands are covered in Nair. So I like to use those because it keeps my hands free and clean. And you definitely, if you are a shaver type of person that shaves often, you definitely want to make sure you're regularly exfoli exfoliating because it will decrease the chances of you getting razor bumps or um, ingrown hairs. Now, when I do shave, even though I don't shave often, I don't care to, I do use the Joy razor. This is the yellow one because I love the color yellow. It makes me smile. Um, and this says, we get it. You have more important things to do than shave. With Joy, you get a surprisingly great shave so you can get back to life. And in this kit, you get two five blade reef, two five bladed refill cartridges, a protective luber strip, and a non-slip grip in your favorite color, in this case, yellow, and this razor. This is what the razor looks like on the inside. There's the refillable cartridge, and then here's the razor itself. I like to use this when I do shave. I don't really care to shave, though, when I do, though. That's that's the girl I picked. After the shower, though, you gotta make sure your skin is moisturized, okay? We not going out here looking ashy, okay? I know in high school, I had a big problem where I used to walk around ashy all the time and I finally concocted this little like thing that works for like 48 hours I've noticed um but essentially I use the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E this is the daily skin therapy that heals and softens it's noted for being for giving you 24 hour moisture then I also use the Vaseline Intensive Care Body Oil Gel my friend Brittany put me on this I like using gels over body oils because gels are thicker and I feel like they stick better. And then because neither one of these have really a strong smell besides their own natural scent, I'll spray a couple spritzes of my own perfume. This one happens to be the Rose by Fragrance Mist from Bath & Body Works. I'll put all three of those together in my hands and then I will rub them together and I will love on my body and moisturize my skin and just... Take the time to feel the crevices of my skin, feel what's hard, feel what's not, feel what's soft, feel what needs more tender love and care, just to make sure that, you know, your skin knows you love it. <laughs> I like to love on my skin because it's the first thing people see, they see your skin. Um, so I like to make sure my skin is nice, soft, smooth, and moisturized. And since I'm a melanated girl, we gotta make sure I got that glow in the sunlight, baby. And that is, this is how I get it, okay? Whenever you notice that I take a picture and it looks like I'm glowing, one, and two, this just adds some smell because perfumes tend to stick when there's oil to stick to it. So if you want your perfume to stick and not be wafting away in five seconds, I definitely would recommend like you put it in when you're moisturizing. And now the number one item you need out of this haul besides these honey pot sensitive wipes is your deodorizing spray. This one so happens to be, I'm trying to make sure you guys can see it. This one so happens to be from Dove and it is the Dry Spray Invisible Sheer Cool and it's supposed to give you no white marks. So I like to use this all over my body. I just don't use this under my armpits because I'm a big girl, I got big rolls and those rolls like to hold sweat. And I am about to walk around funky. So I will spray this everywhere that I know is a hot spot on my body. So my back rolls, underneath my belly, the top of my vagina, and be like the top of mom's pubis in a sense, uh, right under your belly, in between my thighs, behind my knees and stuff like that. That's where I like to spray this just to prevent sweat from accumulating so that smells can accumulate. Because I want to smell good all summer. I'm tired. I'm tired of people being musky. Musk is natural. You ain't got to smell bad though, okay? And we all have natural musk. But you ain't got to be musty, okay? So I would definitely recommend this, especially if you're a sweaty bitch like I am. This definitely keeps me from sweating. It is an antiperspirant. So I just like to use that when I get the chance. You know, you know, you know, you know no <laughs> so since we're talking about hygiene right if you're darker skinned and i believe lighter skinned people go through this too um but there's hyperpigmentation in between our thighs i got this tip from passion jones if you guys know her on youtube she's a notable plus size influencer she uses the pons clarent b3 it's a dark spot correcting cream in between her thighs I'm trying to oop. i get this big one from walmart but you can also get it at bras 
Ross has it and it's cheap at Ross. But I just like to put this, I usually use it on my face, but I will also put it, this is what it looks like on the inside, it's just a white cream. I will put it in between, just take a little bit on the back of my hands. I'm not gonna show y'all obviously because that's gonna come in my shower routine. And then I'll just rub it in between my legs on my thighs just back and forth make sure i'm rubbing it in and i have noticed that the skin between my legs has turned lighter it's not necessarily the same skin color but it is lighter than it was and i do know that chafing rubbing together all that stuff can make that area darker so if you are insecure about that i would definitely check out using the pons cream um it says it's supposed to even skin tone tone in two to four weeks and i definitely have noticed that since using it so yeah i wanted to give you guys all those tips and tricks that i use to keep my feminine hygiene intact and just to feel fresh and clean all summer because i know it's hot outside even if we're not outside you should just smell, you just smell good in your house you know <laughs> but that's kind of all i have for you guys today with this video i just wanted to make sure that you guys are getting the tips that i have that i know so that i can help you guys in any way that i can and i like to give you guys kind of the cheaper options because i do know a lot of influencers they got money I don't <laughs> I'm gonna be honest like so I'm gonna use the cheaper options that I find benefit me so I'm definitely always gonna share that with you guys and if you guys have tips and tricks that I didn't mention and you guys want to share them down below definitely do that because I'm also interested in learning more things too or if you have um more difficult skin than I do and you found that something else works for you definitely put it down in the comments I'd love to see what you guys use in your own hygiene routines don't forget to subscribe to the channel like I said I'm trying to hit 3k it's a small goal and I know we're not a big channel but nonetheless I just I I want to grow with you guys and I want you guys to know what my goals are so the goal right now is to hit 3k and I hope you guys will help me definitely share this video with your mama your mama's friends your daddy's friends any girl you know who casually be smelling musky you can just slide her to the video be like hey yo girl you use any of these products i'm just you know slide it in casually or whatever share this video subscribe on this video you know gang gang and it's it <laughs> but i do love that you guys are here with me and you guys are part of this family that i'm growing here on youtube i love you guys so much don't forget to like this video comment down below more videos you like to see your own tips and tricks for your own hygiene or just anything say hi I'll say that. <laughs> but I love you guys. Don't forget to follow me on social media. All my handles will be down below. Thank you to Timmy Buns for sponsoring this video and for deciding to partner with me. I love when companies ask to partner with me because I feel like I'm doing something and I can help bring you guys more information and cool information because I don't think I could have ever afforded this on my own or like and i'm skeptical about buying things from certain influencers so when i see small influencers promote certain things i usually trust them a little bit more that's just me i'm not telling you guys to trust me more definitely do your own research but i am always going to be honest with you guys so i hope you guys would take heed of what i said and maybe just check out some of the products like i said the affiliate link and the coupon code will be down below the affiliate um the coupon code is brit smiley 25 to get 25 percent off anything you purchase on these sites but my name is Brittany, aka brit smiley and stay beautiful my loves